Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Berkey Cabinet, featuring AJ and Jessica. Today's episode, we have what we discussed. We have that Jefferson's Reserve Pritchett Hill Cabernet Cast Finish. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that really long name there. I mean, yeah, I guess it's a kind of long name, but really they're like sub subtitles to the main <laughs> title, you know? Sequels. That's it. Uh, so this oh. is a single barrel. Uh, as yes, a store pick. I love that. Yes, it is a store pick. Um, thank you. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I haven't actually uh, tried this again for... It, it, well, the last time I had one of these was three years ago. Um, I just remember enjoying it. <laughs> uh, I also, of course, you know, with it being a single barrel, you never know what exactly you're going to get. So uh, it's always fun to try out a new one, especially one you haven't had for a while. Uh, just a friendly reminder from our last video, in case you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you haven't, you should go watch it. But um, Jefferson's, they have a whole massive lineup of various products. Uh, what did we do last time? The small batch? The very small batch? Or was it the... Oh, Lord. Um, the Chef's Collab. Oh, it was the Chef's Collab. How could I forget that one? Uh, <laughs> but again... Um, so Jefferson's it was founded in uh, 1997 and it is made in uh, Crestwood, Kentucky. Um, but yeah, no, this is exciting. I can't wait, can't wait to try this again. Again, it's been a while, so it's super exciting. So yeah, let's just get right into this. Take. This has a really interesting smell, I must say. Yeah. I don't even know how to really... Okay, I'm gonna try my best to put this shit in the words, but... I'm gonna let you go first. All right, give me a second, I'm sorry. So I don't mess with what your, your descriptors are gonna be. <laughs> yeah, because it's probably gonna be wrong. No, there is no wrong answer. Everybody picks up different things. Okay, well, most important, Alcohol rub. <laughs> Always and forever, folks. It is. Man, I don't know what that is. It's really hard to say. Because it's not like. It's not like it's just a barrel smell like most other ones really have. This is. I don't know. Uh, help me. It's a unique barrel, yes. Help me. Is that all you're getting out of it, though, is alcohol and barrel? Well, I just... I, that was super country. I'm so sorry. The barrel. <laughs> I don't know how to describe what I'm smelling. It. I guess it's more on a... It doesn't singe my nose. Mm -hmm. It does smell like it's, I guess, on the sweeter side. Mm -hmm. That's about all I can really, really say. Mm -hmm. So, like you, I get, I get those those usual barrel notes that we get out of bourbons whenever we do this um but it's not overpowering and it smells like it is even honestly i don't i don't know because they don't disclose what kind of or at least from the research i could find they don't disclose what kind of barrels they actually use but it smells like a french oak a french white oak because that's typically it's a sweeter one um a lot of times if it's aged too long in one of those it gives it a chocolatey kind of scent so or in smell or taste to it uh sorry i'm tripping over my words but i'm also picking up like a um like a like a dark cherry sort of flavor on it too uh, yeah okay okay i can say that or um What's the um, syrupy shit that they put in like? Grenadine. There you go. Which is basically a cherry flavored syrup. <laughs> right, exactly. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, it 
definitely picking up all of those notes. So let's jump in and try it. Wow, that has way more of a, of a singe than I anticipated. Yeah, it does, but it's funny that it, it like danced on my tongue and then dissipated. I was gonna say like it smacks you, but then it. Oh, there's a hug. It's, it was late. It was late to the party. Yeah, it's like it's like it hit the pit of my stomach, and now my stomach's just like enveloped by warmth, <laughs> and it's like coming up to my chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm getting to. <clears throat> There's a lot of unique flavors in this. I, mm, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go first on talking about this because I, I can't sit here and keep sipping this and not talk about what's happening right now. <laughs> this stuff is so weird. Um, main conclusion I've come to right now is that I absolutely despise this aftertaste. It's terrible. Like, like the more I breathe, the more I can taste it. And it's like a, it's like a bad wine. Like, one that's <laughs> molded too much or like, I don't know, like they just didn't give it enough depth or use the right grapes or something was wrong with that vineyard. Like, I just, that aftertaste is so bad, but like initially it's, it's really nice. Like. It does seem like it's supposed to be nice, but yeah, yeah that aftertaste Like is... you get, you get the sweetness, you get those dark berry notes from the cab ever so slightly. They're not pungent or anything there. They're just ever so slightly. And then you go to swallow. You get a little bit of that. That tickle and that singe and again and then and then afterwards it's just like bad one. I feel like that's like the reverse of a Sour Patch Kid. Because first they're sour, then they're sweet. Yeah. It's like the other this way goes, around. First it's sweet and then it's awful. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So what would you say compared to like even the regular Jeffersons? Because obviously this isn't going to touch the, the I, Chef's collab, I which feel, I can definitely go watch. I feel so awful for this right now because I have told so many people how much I thoroughly enjoyed that bottle three years ago. <laughs> and I was really excited about this. And I, again, it's a single barrel, so they're all different. You never really know what you're going to get. But... All right, so now for me and what I'm tasting, um, I don't know what I am tasting. Um, <laughs> let, let, let me let me try to like, I can tell you like what I'm going through. So the beginning is like a smack in the face, and then, then like you were saying, you kind of fill it in your stomach, and then it like turns back around and come back up, and then it, like hug your chest. But then for me, after it gets done hugging my chest, it'll start to hug my throat, and my throat will be warm. Yeah, I can get that. And I'm just too. like, why? Why is it, why are you so late to the party? Nobody wants you here. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> you get the same like weird aftertaste I do. So initially, it started to be like a good bourbon. And then about three seconds into it, it started veering off the road. And then once you feel it hit the pit of your stomach and you, again, that's when you went off the you know, ramp like Dukes of Hazzard. Yeah, really though. Yeah, that, it, it, it gets wild. I can't say it's necessarily all that bad at the end of it. Um, at least for me, it doesn't seem like it's all that bad. Um, but it is not where it started. It starts good, and then it just it just it's a it's a consistent slope down. I feel like the reason I'm so upset about it is because of how good it is at first and then this is what i'm left with well that and also comparing it, it is... to the other ones <sighs> like you're gonna want to go grab the other one and want to wash your palate out with something good 
that I will not waste for like that. Okay. Of course, I should just to redeem their company. No, I'm just kidding. Uh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is, in my opinion, better than some of the Jefferson's Oceans I've had. So, at least it's got that going for it. But that back end with it tasting like it's a, a bad, basically a bad Cabernet mixed with a barn. Like, I can't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't. It, blah, blah, blah. Weird. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I'm, Hold on, which, my, which famous winery is that today? I'm gonna, I'll mispronounce it, but it's like... Chapelette. I was gonna say Chapelette. <laughs> I'll put the spelling up <laughs> and you'll see. Y'all gonna laugh at me. <laughs> it's okay, I probably said it like the American country way and then you tried to make it fancy. <laughs> it I seemed like it's from it. another... Yeah. <laughs> I tried my pinky with it. There you go. So let's try like a shot. I don't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ratings. Oh, yeah. What would you rate that? Oh, and even before that, how much was the bottle? 65, I believe. Sounds like it was yeah, uh, most of Jefferson's, like, their, even their, their special, like, lineup that they have, like, the, the Chef's Collab and everything, they're all typically right around that $65 mark, um, they also do, like, a, like a, like a Twin Oak one, I think, um, that one's about the same price, uh, if it's gone up at all, then maybe $70 now, but it wouldn't be that much. So what would you rate it now? As a sipper, like a four and a half. Ooh. I'll give it a five. You're right. That's that was that was super harsh of me, and it's only because the aftertaste. If I could do it separately, whenever it's initially there, give you a six. As soon as I get done swallowing, though, no, you. This starts to slide down to like a four. Yeah, like... Consistent. So that's why you're trying to give it a five. I see, I see, mm. I see. What about you? Five. <laughs> it's... It's okay at the beginning. Mm. It's not too bad, you know. It seems like it's something new. Something different, for sure. But... It just... Nose dives, man. That just so weird. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like what, how it does that. Like that's if anything, like just heat up or get better at the after part of it. Not, not continuously get bad after more and more time progresses. Like that's. Yeah, I remember the last one I had being similar to this one. Just it didn't have that little cinch to it that this one has. It was a little smoother and and sweeter too. And then it, but the finish on it was exactly like drinking a good bottle of Cabernet. And this one's like a bad Cabernet. So either back then I didn't know what a good Cabernet tasted like, or they switched companies <laughs> of the cabs they're using. <laughs> and honestly, it's probably my ignorance, truthfully, because I didn't even start liking red wines until what, a couple of years ago. So. Oh, I'm gonna hurt these shits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take it as a shot and see if it gets any better. Hope it's better. Yeah, I do too. Well, that's a bigger smack in the face. Oh my god, that made the aftertaste really pungent. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. Yeah, I don't like that. That's it's, awful. It's getting like worse. That's worse than it was before. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> if you're gonna drink this, definitely a sipper. Wow. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you rate that as a shot? That was bad. Uh, okay, let me let me think about other you bad ones. It, so okay. that way I can I'm giving that a three. That was that was that was awful, man. Uh, honestly, yeah, I'm with you on that. It's a three, and that's kind of being generous <laughs> so <laughs> uh 
bad times, guys. I started this video super excited. Yeah, she did. She was super she wanted to do this really bad. Excited. And now I'm I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Um but you know this we learned. That's all I got to say. We learned. But again, don't hesitate to pick this up for yourself. Cause again, like I said, single barrels, they all vary. They're all different. Um, we didn't necessarily enjoy this one, but you might enjoy this one. Um, also the one you pick up might be completely different than the one we have depending on where you live. So, um, Hopefully. Uh, and, and just in case you all are curious, uh, let's see here. This is barrel number 26. Avoid that. So, yeah. Avoid that barrel. Go for a different one. Um, but... <laughs> Don't go for that barrel. Other than that, yeah. It's a energy experience. And now we have something for our guests to drink. So... I'm just kidding. Yeah. We're not always that rude. <laughs> we give our bad stuff to one person in particular. And he loves it every time. So... And bless that man's soul. <laughs> no, right. <laughs> so, the next time... Uh, got 13 13 bourbons mm -hmm. the number don't stop don't can't stop won't stop but whatever um we're gonna try to do some newer things things are gonna try to keep changing trying to get better slowly make progression and uh hopefully soon we can get some distillery videos and that'd be pretty cool mm. but eh we can wait and see yep but until then Ciao, matane!